What's in the letter? Evie asked, her voice full of innocence. Mr. Chides has been in touch with my relatives back home, and they are overjoyed at the idea of having a family member with a title. <laughs> they want to know when they can come over and stay in my castle, because, of course, the title comes with a castle. Evie couldn't resist the temptation. Does it? Tom growled. You know very well there isn't a title. His voice hitched. Or a castle. So what do you want me to do about it? Tom straightened and crossed his arms. We need a distraction. He gave a stiff, determined nod. Yes, that's what we need. Something to take their minds off this business of a title. Because, of course, it's not just Henrietta. She has the others all wound up, too. Toodles and Sarah? Surely not. Evie could imagine her grands teasing and indulging Henrietta for her own amusement. But Sarah, her mother-in-law, normally chose to be more moderate and down-to-earth. I know you're thinking there's no real harm done. Tom huffed out a breath and brushed his hands across his face. My apologies, Countess. I should not be burdening you with this petty annoyance. Why would Tom take this to heart? Usually, he laughed at Henrietta's antics. In this instance, she would most likely meet with failure. Surely he had to know that. Could Tom be concerned about that? Did he secretly wish for Henrietta to unearth a title that would elevate him and put him on the same social level right alongside her? A few years back, Consuelo Vanderbilt had separated from the Duke of Marlborough and Evie knew for a fact they were about to divorce, clearing the way for Consuelo to marry the man she had fallen in love with, a man without a title. She didn't have any qualms about discarding all the privileges of her rank. Tom had to know the lack of a title didn't make a difference to her. Truth be known, she had been entranced by Tom Winchester since the early days when he had pretended to be her chauffeur. She's not just digging up my past in the hope that she'll find a distant relative here in England. She's now moved on to, or rather, reverted to what she refers to as Plan A. Dare I ask? Tom roared. She will get me a title by hook or by crook. Evie scooped in a breath, and instead of easing it out, she huffed it out. <sighs> Heavens, why couldn't everyone just be happy? It seemed the moment someone lifted a finger to do something, it affected the person next to them, and in turn, their actions affected the next person. She thought she heard Tom issue another murmured apology, which only made Evie more aware of his frustration. Tom had never been one to complain, not really. In fact, out of all the people in her immediate orbit, he could always be relied on to provide a sense of calm and steadiness. Had he succumbed to the chaos plaguing Halton House? Evie nodded. Yes, something needed to be done. The sooner, the better. <laughs>